<laughs> Hello, my name is Matt Kale, and on behalf of ExpertVillage.com, I'm here to talk about spiderweb decorations. As you're closing in on finishing up all of the webbing you've planned to, uh, to hang up on your walls, uh, there's an excellent prop which you can add to your webbing. Uh, these are little plastic spiders. Uh, they're both uh, very cheap and they look surprisingly good from a distance. And they're also very easy to add to your web. But where to put your spiders on your web? They're definitely good and bad places. One bad place is to pick a strand which is far too thin. There's not a lot of support in this strand area. And worse yet, you almost kind of have to like wedge it which could have a negative effect if your spider probably won't stay up there, and you could also loosen the tape, which you've spent all the time sticking to the wall. A much better place is to pick an area which has stretched out material, but is also pretty, uh, still pretty thick. You can't see my finger that well behind this. Um, there's a lot of good pocket areas. I mean, think of basically placing a spider in a pocket area, kind of like a kangaroo. Um, so, I mean, you could literally, it's very simple to place them. You just put them, can put them like right back behind there, and there you go. If you want a more visible spider, what you do is, especially if it has a ring on it, uh, you can put it into the web and then just tug downward a little bit. This will uh, get it to stick and have the webbing on here around it, and you let it go. And odds are, these spiders are going to stay there the whole night. In fact, I mean, spiders have a better record of staying up on the wall than the rest of the webbing does at times. And now you have like a nice little creepy thing you can add, and then if your guests aren't too careful, they may actually think there's a spider right above them in the fake webbing.